Hey everybody, today I'm going to share with you all about our stockings for Christmas. So in my last vlog, I asked you guys what you would like to see and I mentioned a couple different things that I was thinking about filming and somebody mentioned gifts and somebody mentioned stockings. So what I decided is at the end, I am gonna mention a few of the gifts that we are giving, but I'm mainly gonna to talk today about stockings. So our stockings are an assortment. I think one of them was thrifted or a yard sale find. Um, the two that have the fur on top, those were Pier 1. And the solid fur one, I honestly can't remember where we got that one from. But this is the assortment of stockings that we have had throughout our marriage and I enjoy them. So there's four of them, four of us, and I, I just really think that they are sweet. I would say that currently my favorite one is the thrifted one or yard sale one. Like I said, I can't remember where I got it, um, but I really love the cable knit. I think I will always love cable knit. So we're just going to hop right in. If I know specifically where something came from, I will let you know in case you're doing some last minute shopping and you like that idea. So a few of the stocking stuffers came from the store called Pop Shelf, and I actually ended up having two bags. So I have just separated everybody's stockings into a pop shelf bag and then that way I can just see easily what everybody has. I don't know if everybody has experienced this with their kids, but they're not exactly even. I tried to make them even, but um, for reference, we have a five-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter and it seems like as the kids get older, it's just easier to know their interests and they also point things out to you. So he does have a few more things than her and that's just, that's just kind of how it wound up. So I'm gonna start with the secondhand finds. So my husband found them each a CC beanie. I think he might have paid just a few dollars each for them at our local thrift store. So we have the beige one for Andy and then we have the kind of gray patterned, multicolored gray one for Abram. I wanted to do some sort of little figurine or small toy. Last year I had a Buzz Lightyear and a Spider-Man sticking out from the top of their stockings. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll link it down below. But this year I wanted to do something. Uh, you guys have already seen this in my thrifted video, but this is what I got for Abrams. It is a little Volkswagen bus. You can see the thrifted sticker there. And I just think that it is so cute, so sweet. And then for Andy, I searched and searched and, you know, I'd find little dolls and we honestly just have so many of those that um, I don't feel like she would really use it that much. Um, so I got her this little lady dog from Lady and the Tramp. Um, you know, it's small. It probably cost me maybe a quarter and um, that way she just has a little figurine, something in there. I also love stuff like this because last year we got her a Calico Critters or Little Woodsies house and some little Calico Critters animals. Um, but you know, it's not just limited to those figurines. So she could absolutely play with this in that house. I'll be honest, I went to Walmart and I looked in their like stocking stuffer, party favor type section. And I just, for me personally, I don't love gifting something that I know without a doubt is going to wind up in a donation bin. I know that the things that I gift my kids will not always have longevity. Some toys are just natured to have a shorter lifespan, uh, a shorter time that they enjoy playing with them, and then some, you know, are more for the long haul. I definitely prefer those long haul ones, but if the stocking stuffers are the equivalent to something that you would, you know, win at Chuck E. Cheese, um, I, I just don't really love those little like plasticky stocking stuffers just because I don't feel like they're going to last. So usually the route that I like to go is like a little small toy or two, something they could actually use, and then lots and lots of candy. <laughs> So Abram had seen a yellow Hummer at the thrift store and it wasn't in very good shape. So I had mentioned to my mother-in-law, if you see one, you know, just be on the lookout. So she did find this one for just a few dollars at Walmart. So he will actually be getting two vehicles and they just both happen to be yellow, which is kind of funny. But so there's his little yellow Hummer. And he could really use some of the flat hair clips, sort of like the beret style, just to kind of clip her hair up out of her face. So I found these on Amazon. 
just this kind of multicolored pack. I liked the variety. So there are actually two sleeves here. You can only see the first one, but these are open and then the sleeve behind this, there's no hole here and they are completely closed in. So there are 20 of them total. Um, and I think that these will be just a good addition to her hair accessories. All right, the next one for Abram, I was so excited to find. Uh, a few years ago, we gifted him a John Deere Gator for his main gift for Christmas. He uses it all of the time. And so I found at Walmart a license plate and a license plate frame. So I don't know if these are still available, um, but these could work for a bike, for a gator, for anything like that. And they do have some little letters so that you can put your child's name on them. So this is one that I think he'll be really excited to receive. Another one of the things that I wanted to get for Abram were some of those click pins. I don't know if you ever had them growing up, but I did that had like so many colors. Um, so I found this in a pack on Amazon. So these actually have six colors per pin and they came in a large pack. So I am just going to see if my sister wants some to put in my niece's stocking. Um, they also do come in like a pack of three or four at Office Max, but they only have four colors instead of six. I found a huge assortment of the little croc charms or um, what do you call these things? Gibbets? I think they're called gibbets. Um, so I found a huge pack. I think there was a hundred in the pack. So one of my friends, I asked her, where do you get these gibbets for your kids? And she said she bought this huge pack and then she just keeps them and uses them for other kids' gifts. She uses them for Easter. And I just thought that was a really good tip. So I'm passing it along to you. The package is a little more boy-centered than girls, but I picked out a few for Andy. Um, she has this little pink planet and then a stitch and then what looks like maybe Mufasa. And then Abram actually has an entire Star Wars collection. So uh, these are the ones that I chose to go in his stocking. Moving right along, we've never done a battery powered toothbrush before, but I thought that would be a fun thing to include. So each of them has a battery powered toothbrush for the first time. We will see how that goes. And then the last thing before I dive into the candy assortment is uh, we don't really do soda in our house, but at Aldi and really I guess anywhere you can find these little tiny cans. Uh, and I just thought that they were really sweet. So I'm just gonna put probably two cans in each stocking and then just have the rest in our fridge in the garage just for whenever. Um, so I got Abram Coke and I got Andy Sprite. And again, this is a real treat. We really don't drink soda at our house very much, um, but hey, it's Christmas, right? So the candy really is identical across the board. So I'm just gonna show you one set because they're the same. I love having something in the candy cane shape. So these are the Hershey Kiss stuffed candy canes. You gotta have either a crisp Kringle or a marshmallow Santa. So I actually kind of wanna go and get a pack of crisp Kringles, the like crunchy, like crunch bar type Santas, but uh, each of them will get two of these little marshmallow Santas. Each of them is going to get a holiday Pez dispenser. So one of them has a nutcracker and the other one has an elf, but they come in all of these different designs here. Each of them will get two of these lint Christmas bears. They will each get a ring pop. And then lastly, they will each get a fruit gummy pizza. So all of the candy was either bought at Pop Shelf or bought at uh, the dollar store or Walmart or somewhere like that. I think the ring pops and the gummy pizzas were bought at Pop Shelf, uh, as well as the chocolate bears. All right, so that is everything that is going in their stockings. I think it's probably more than I have done in the past. Um, maybe just buy a little bit. I don't think I've done quite as much. Um, but I don't know. I was just kind of in the mood to do more, able to do more, so we did a little more. Now, I had mentioned that I was going to touch on their main Christmas gifts. So I've shown the few thrifted things that we found. Since I filmed that video, I actually found a pair of tennis shoes for Abram, which is right on time because his were starting to give out. Uh, they're this pair of Nike Hirachi shoes, which if you don't know, these can retail for 
50 75 dollars they really look just about brand new and we paid four dollars for them so i'm super excited to wrap these under the tree um, they each got a couple of other different things and I won't go into everything, but I did want to touch on why most of their gifts are not thrifted. So I haven't had as much time to shop secondhand and that's something that I'll talk about in the new year. And I'm kind of putting some boundaries in place for my secondhand shopping that I think will be helpful to people. I, I think that will be something uh nice to hear, but I did want to share what their main gift is and the reason why it's not secondhand. Uh, the reason why it's not secondhand is because it is something electronic and it's something that we wanted to really invest in. So for each of them, we purchased a portable DVD player to use in the car. So we are not really big on screens. We definitely use them, but we use them with boundaries. I think having a portable DVD player for a road trip or when you might be in the car for longer than normal, like on a Saturday morning going to yard sales, I think this could be a really good tool. We were given a set as hand-me-downs that had been used for like 20 years and it ended up the connection went bad and then we found a set second hand and that connection also went bad so i'm really hopeful that these are going to be good a friend of mine has these and she said that they have been dropped and they are really durable we also purchased a protection plan for them so i have high hopes for these i love that they are two separate units so the kids can watch whatever they want to i also love that they can be mounted on the headrest or they can be kind of in your lap. So that is why their main gift is not secondhand because it was electronics and with electronics you just you have to pick and choose and we've done the secondhand route and we're not going to do that again with a portable DVD player. I saw this really sweet idea on Instagram and I cannot remember who posted it or I would credit it to them but she said that everybody in their family gets a separate type of wrapping paper. You have your pattern and those presents that are under that tree wrapped in that pattern are yours. But she said that she actually keeps a little square of that wrapping paper and puts it in the bottom of everybody's stocking. There are no gift tags on the presents under the tree and so you have to do your stocking first so you can dig to the bottom and figure out whose wrapping paper is whose. And I just thought that that was a really sweet idea. Growing up, we always did stockings after gifts, so that's the way we do it in our family. Um, but I just thought that was a really neat idea. So I would love to know down below how you are doing stockings this year. I'd love to know what you've put in yours that you're excited about. This will be the last video that I am posting before Christmas, and then you guys will hear from me after Christmas. So I just want to wish you and your family a wonderful Christmas. I hope that it is filled with all things magical and all things lovely, and I will be seeing you soon. Merry Christmas, everybody.